all ready and packed. And this is what we're bringing to the Peak District. I'm doing it. <laughs> well, we're not even going to the peaks, it's the lakes. <laughs> the extension cord <laughs> have we got the lube have we got the sex toys have we got the um, nose spray do you need it maybe yeah. right, i need a wait remember oh i didn't take my vitamins and we're off <laughs> how are you doing there Harry, you might one arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. is that better Right, we are off to the Lake District. We are off to the Lake District to climb Scarfield Pike. And Carol's abandoned me. <laughs> now she she's off to get the holder from my car. The phone the, the phone holder is just a little bit easier than her crappy one because it doesn't really hold up the phone. But because we are so ill prepared, we actually have to go to the mountain shop just one last time before leaving because there's some things I want to buy for my face. It's a balaclava I want to bike it's gonna be like minus three when we climb Scarfield Pike so I want to make sure like I'm all geared up for it the temperature to stop my beard freezing off you know Ooh. so Elliot's in mountain and warehouse getting some last minute poles for walking but he's forgotten his coat so I've got to go back because he's a naughty little rabbit he's naughty for getting his stuff Ukraine business sounds sounds horrible. Source of Steiner hail slash rain. So uh, thoughts go out to them. But yeah, it's Steiner rain quite badly, and we'll probably be in the lakes in the next couple of hours. God damn it, it's a long drive. You'll always be my nice guy. Oh, Carol, they're not going to like banana. Hello, gorgeous duckies. Oh, they're coming for you because they know. Oh, you're feeding the ducks by hand. Oh, you got some banana. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, babe, I'm scared. Do they snatch? They do, but it doesn't hurt. Look. Does the beaks not hurt your fingers? No, baby, they're really strong. You want some? Oh, yeah, I bet. I haven't got any more banana for you, though, sweet. Can I have one more bit, please? Because I, I want to feed a bit. Okay, baby, let's go. So just saying like all oh, these people can plainly see we're noobs because I'm the price tag on that hiking gear. <laughs> just turning up, ready to climb scarf or bike. Don't want to waste up too Murray. Oh. Beautiful this place. I do wonder if the camera does it justice, but it is actually a really beautiful. 
place. It's very cold. It's probably going to be even more freezing on top of Skyfall Pike when we climb it tomorrow. But anyway, we've arrived at our hotel. We just dumped our bags in and went straight for a walk. We haven't unpacked or anything. We kind of just wanted to get out before the sun goes down. Kind of suss out our surroundings. See what direction Scarfield Pike in. It's just like, oh, I just think, again, I'm not sure if you can really see the vastness, but it's just, yeah, it just doesn't look like this camera's doing it justice. I'll see when I edit it, I guess. But yeah, really excited and buzzing for tomorrow. <sighs> so Scarfield Pike is hiding behind these mountains here. That's what we'll be doing tomorrow. Too much full. Crazy. So I may have gone a little bit overboard on the <laughs> packed lunches situation um, because I'm quite fussy. I don't like trail mix, so all of this is to make trail mix. Sesame seeds, peanuts, apricots and that, so I've got cereal. But I may have gone a bit overboard. What do you think? Are you doing a little video vlog, are you? Bloody hell, you've gone overboard, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> this hotel looks quite nice, doesn't it? We'll all be having our breakfast and dinner in the future. Looks quite quiet there this evening. Reception. Oh, that's going to the bar, isn't it? I did that mistake earlier. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice fire. That's quite nice, doesn't it? That's all relaxing. That's where we're going to get drunk. <laughs> it's time to get. <laughs> Time to get this party started in the north. All oh, these people are just having a nice chill. Oh, I feel really sick and tired, not gonna lie. Kind of keeping it together. Telescope, there's people in there though. Yeah, there is. <laughs> there's people in there, just filming. It's quite nice, I like this place. Charging our phones. Banquet, I think I was already filmed. All packed and ready for tomorrow. I had our dinner. Time to go to sleep. See you guys in the morning. To climb Scarville Pike. Oh, that's that's Jasmine. That's my my teddy. But I never go out. Go without. Oh look, there's another Jasmine. <laughs> Both are Jasmine. That's the original Jasmine. It's the original Jasmine. This is where I copied because I wanted my own Jasmine. So it's jumped to morning now quite a bit. We went to bed. It's always hard doing these transitions. So I wanted to film us like arriving here, but. Jesus Christ, look at this. Literally in the middle of this, I don't know, bowl. This road going through the flat. Scarfall Pike, I believe, is up here somewhere. I think we'll be hiding behind this mountain. The summit's up there. We might be around there. I actually just have no idea, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Looking forward to hiking this. Carol's getting her walking boots on, as I will do for me. Then we'll start hiking this mofo. All right, so it begins our first step. Ready, there's a beautiful waterfall over there. So we're following this track down to this farm and following these people because we have no bloody idea what we're doing. <laughs> and just praying for the best. I've got a compass and a map. <laughs> so <laughs> if I get lost. Well, hey cows. Oh, you smelly. Oh, you smelly bunch of cows. I'll make it to the side of all these cows. Hello. It's just beautiful, it's just stunning. And come to think about it, this is something I missed out on for so many years because of my anxiety. Um, and I finally managed to push myself to go and do something like this even though it's quite challenging for me mentally and some not as physically anymore because I've been training and stuff and physically I'm in better shape but oh, it's just gorgeous 
that feeling than what I'm gonna have when we get to the summit in four hours. <laughs> Uh, I remember when I couldn't even walk to the back of the shop because I felt too far away from my car. Now my car is somewhere around that bend. Scarfell Pike is waiting for me. Got that shot. Hey, she. <laughs> this bridge here and we've got this ascent up here. Don't want any panic attacks during this because we're going to sort of sit or out of breath. A rabbit! Well, we're here now and we're about to go around this bend and we'll see Skyfall Pike, the summit. Hopefully by then it's actually not too bad. It's quite a nice clear day. It's warm as hell, taking off so many layers. But we've got, we've got them in our backpacks. We'll take them off if we get there. I'm feeling quite fatigued. Obviously my insomnia and emetophobia is kicking in a bit. I feel a little bit sick. But physically I'm like not too bad. But yeah, getting like I do feel like bike fatigue though. Um, had a bit of snack and drink. I'm chilling. Cows over there. Listen to a farmer call some sheep. It's really beautiful. Oh, waterfall. comes. Come on, little rabbit. Have a rest there. Little rabbit starting to get tired. Oh, it's snow. <laughs> nice. So we get closer and closer to the summit, but I'm not, I'm not really cold. I feel the cold wind, but it's nice. My hands are cold. Boiling. No, not even my hands. To be honest, it's past the nice. <clears throat> I had to pass the nice uh, hiker coming down from the summit. Uh, people said it's beautiful up there. He, unfortunately, it was cloudy as hell. Um, but uh, apparently, it's going to be beautiful when we get up there. Some cloud and overcast right now, but I reckon that'll be cleared up by the time we make the summit. And it's only for a bit. It's the odd cloud. It's quite a nice day, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, onwards and upwards. It's insane. Crazy, crazy world, man. Look at that. So we're gonna we're in this like bowl and it's gorgeous. Right up here. I reckon we go up there, then round and then up there. Almost. Almost. Just walking up. And Scarfield again, still there. And we're gonna Apparently it's a bit of a scramble to the top, but we're going to get there. Beautiful, don't regret this at all. Love it, anxiety's been really good. Fitness has been good. Leg muscles have been fucked. Not going to lie, sorry for the swear. I'm dead. Ah, naked. The legs are killing me. So my cardio is fine. So my legs. I need to do more leg exercises when I get home, I think. Found this bowl that these rocks stacked. Thought this was a good place to rest. Here she comes. Here she comes. It's beautiful. I'm not sure if that's Skyfall Park or that was Skyfall Park. This whole time I thought this was the summit, but I don't know. Every time you think you're getting close, you're just not, but I think eyeballing it from the distance, this steep hill is the final push to the summit. Final push, once we get to the top of this, I think it's 
relatively not that steep again. It's a straight walk along the ridge. And then, uh, so we did it. There it is, the summit behind me. I just put my rock on it, put my mark. And like, as you do, I think. I think that's tradition, isn't it? When you summit, you add to the pile of rocks. That is the highest point. That's the highest point, highest. <laughs> Getting an accident now. Highest point of England, done. Um, wow. Yeah. Challenging. It was good, but like, I didn't die after it. How did you find it, babe? Well, I think we won't film anymore. I think we're done now. I think we just want to um, maybe eat a bit of our sandwich, head down now. Views were really nice earlier. And we managed to catch some as we got to the summit, but fortunately it's now a complete white out, so you can't really see much. Um, no worry, so snowed in May, so that's gonna be even taller. And the views are beautiful around that time, I think, so hopefully it'll be good. All right, we'll talk to you back in the hotel room. I think we just need to get back now. painful walk I've ever done in my life now. Yeah, so back at the hotel now. Um, we had, when we got back, we kind of just collapsed on our beds. Um, I got in a hot bath. Uh, I need to sit down. <laughs> and it's downstairs um just catching up on his messages and stuff and i am getting into this well-deserved bath with muscle relaxing salts himalayan salts bubble bath my feet are aching my hips are aching and i am so excited Probably hear the kettle boiling in the background to make me from a chamomile tea. Got my little shakti yoga mat out as well. So the like that we came back, we had collapsed on a bed. I had a hot bath. Um, we both went into the restaurant. We've had dinner. We've just chilled out for the last few hours, basically. It's late in the evening now. It's about 9:20. Coming down was really horrible. Um, probably the worst part, to be honest. Climbing up was amazing. It was like, I, didn't, I felt good, I felt okay, I felt tired. My legs ate, but I didn't panic, I didn't feel sick. I felt a little bit sick at one point, but I didn't go into a panic attack. My anxiety was good. I felt like all the, the last couple of months of running and doing some uphill running helped my cardiovascular a lot with this but I've never really done a lot of walking in a while due to Covid and my anxiety issues and been quite recluse. I've kind of jumped in the deep end a lot. There are people that find Scarfield Pike climbing the mountains in general okay and easy. I, like I said, climbing it, I found it quite okay and it was nice, but coming down it really destroyed me. My joints were caving in, Carol was not great either, neither of us. It was getting dark towards the last stretch coming down the mountain and it was wet, like not, it was cold, dark, having to see where we're going. It was, uh, yeah, it was not a nice end to finish, but we did it. It was a nice ascent, just a rubbish descent. Mentally went to some to my dark place and just broke down and basically said to Karen, I don't know if I can go any further, I'm, I'm done. I've never done something like a seven hour, seven hour hike before in ages. Like I said, years and years and years. I don't think I've ever done a seven hour hike in my life, let alone in ages. And it's a bit of a rubbish end really, because I feel ill, feel sick, feel rubbish, feel crap. Feel like I'm gonna die. My anxiety is just so high. 
so yeah, physically not feeling great. Yeah. Elevation game. Is there 1,038 meters? So that's how far we climbed. 1,000 meters. Oh. Don't know if that's a lot, is that a lot? <laughs> yeah. Right now, because I'm feeling sorry for myself, I regret it. <laughs> I know I don't mean that though. I think in I think in the morning when I'm rested and stuff, I'll probably be like, "Fuck yeah, glad I did that." Um, it's done. Oh, as I was saying to Carol, the only thing that annoys me is that I just I feel like I do everything I can to make my my to make these things easy for me. Like I supplement. I um I eat healthy. I ate a lot today. I run. I go to the gym five days a week. I eat well to to try and fuel my workouts. I feel like I physically got fitter. And yet here I am, absolutely dying. Here Carol is exhausted, but not on the same level I am. And it just annoys me. Just I'm sick of feeling like I'm uh, sick of feeling like I'm feeling like I'm different. Uh, it's only no matter how hard I try, I can't make myself feel optimum. My body feel optimum at an optimum level. I want to do these things and feel tired at the end of them and achy, but I don't want to do these things and feel generally un genuinely unwell and unhappy, you know. Snowden next. So tomorrow I'll probably just have a chill day, won't bother filming that, and then we're going to drive home. Take it easy. And, um, and yeah. I'm gonna go to bed now.